News presentation. Thor News presents. All right, this is a Thor News warning. We were given a sweet red herring. Welcome to another edition of Grand Theft Crisis. We will start out this episode by quoting Einstein. Science is a wonderful thing if one does not have to earn one living at it. Starlight, star bright, first star I see tonight turns out to be a stupid airplane. Astronomy 101, wait until dark, look up, then be extremely disappointed. All right, looks like we got April Fool in May. If you went out last night to look at the meteor storm, meteor shower, then you looked up at the sky and said, my God, it's filled with nothing. I fooled you all. First, in 2013, we had the super dud that was Comet Ison. Second, in 2014, we had the super duper duper dud that was Camel Oparter Dulles. I mean, at least Comet Ison had that weird giant spaceship looking V thing that shot out from around the sun. That was pretty exciting. And then it dudded out with the Camel Opardolids. It was just hype, then dud, as I predicted. Ladies and gentlemen, after NASA and professional science predicted 1,000 to 200 meteors an hour, and we got at best two meteors an hour, it's safe to say this is truly Barack Obama's NASA. If you watch NASA backwards, it's about a space agency that has no space flight capability, then does low orbit flights, then lands on the moon. Thank you, Thomas Fux. What do you think of this report that says NASA has no vision and that we need to turn the agency around? Somebody contact that little boy. He's definitely gonna need way more help. Gryffindor is getting their ass kicked at NASA. This is like a three card Monty game, only you can't see the shells or the peanut. The dealer just tells you if you win or you lose, you know? And this was hilarious. Space.com was like, yeah, it was brilliant. <laughs> this article written by Tariq Malik says, new meteor shower thrills stargazers despite low shooting star count. Do you even know what thrill means, man? I didn't, I mean, I, you know, nobody was thrilled. A new meteor shower sparked some celestial fireworks late Friday and early Saturday. Amazing stargazers across America. Even though it did not reach the spectacular meteor storm levels that some had hoped for. Amazing? Really, buddy? And the Camelo Pardolids meteor shower was a total bust. All right, back in like 2001-ish, two, or up back in 1999-2000, I lived in Austin, Texas. And we went up to the top of Mount Bernal, me and some friends. And there were like 500 people there. And we all kind of laid down and sat and watched as probably 100 to 200 to 300 to 400 shooting stars shot across the sky all night long. It was an amazing evening. Everybody had a great time. And it's a memory I shall never forget. Everybody got along. It was just a super peaceful evening. Well, this, you know, this was nothing like that. Am I surprised? No, I predicted it. But scientists also stress that because of the unknown nature of the meteor shower, it could fizzle out. They didn't stress that. They mentioned it, but it was not stressed. A team of astronomers led by meteor scientist Peter Jeniskins of the SETI Institute in California aimed to observe the meteor shower from above the clouds by flying at 20,000 feet aboard a specially chartered jet. Oh crap, that is impressive. Man, that is one impressive photo. <laughs> if you're blind, if space.com can report that stargazers were thrilled with that total dud of a meteor storm, then they lose all credibility. I look elsewhere for space-related news. Spaceweather.com says, Hey, note to sky watchers, that is not what a meteor storm looks like. Last night, as predicted, what? Earth passed through a stream of debris from Comet 209P Linear, and the encounter did produce a number of fine meteors. No, there was no intense outburst. And from Space Weather's own meteor watch, fireball watch, there were less meteors during the meteor shower than on an average night. Now, how does that work? And if you even look at the photographs taken, they are nowhere near as impressive as photographs taken from other meteor showers or even nights where no meteor shower is supposed to be. Because if one thing you'll notice, government and science never apologizes. They never say, hey, we made a mistake, you know? It's just not in their makeup. It was worth noting and perhaps marveling that forecasters correctly predicted the onset of a never before seen meteor shower. Uh, uh, yeah, dude, I'm not gonna marvel at that if you don't mind. In this respect, May Camel Opardolids were a success, if not a spectacle. Well, 20 years ago, we could land a ship on the moon. Now we can't even get into low orbit. So uh, don't pat yourself on the back too hard, man. And when it was reported that this meteor storm, meteor shower, was actually a version of trickle-down celestial economics, professional science reported saying, 
According to astronomy, when you wish upon a star, you're actually a few million years too late. That star is dead, just like your dreams. Now pay your taxes and don't talk back when we ram government-fixed climate change down your throat. Or we'll kill you with a drone from the sky. The sky watchers were left disappointed by the lackluster show. But astronomers were not surprised. Giggle, giggle, giggle. Schadenfried. But remember, NASA's first and foremost goal now is to promote Muslim achievements in science. This was a bit historic, regardless. Yep, about as historic as, as the Led Zeppelin. This is a Thor News presentation. Thor News presents. All right, this is a Thor News warning. We were given a sweet red herring. Welcome to another edition of Grand Theft Crisis. We will start out this episode by quoting Einstein. Science is a wonderful thing if one does not have to earn one living at it. Starlight, star bright, first star I see tonight turns out to be a stupid airplane. Astronomy 101, wait until dark, look up, then be extremely disappointed. All right, looks like we got April Fool in May. If you went out last night to look at the meteor storm, meteor shower, then you looked up at the sky and said, my God, it's filled with nothing. I fooled you all. First, in 2013, we had the super 